brand new. <laughs> and brand new lagging. <laughs> About five gamers who are mates. So, Mo, Cedric, <laughs> Leo, hey, Ray. And nothing will ever come between us. Oh. Guys, the bunch of losers are winning. Adapt, endure, survive. A bit less silver than I was expecting. <laughs> Brand new lagging starts Tuesday at 5 on CBBC and BBC iPlayer. Yeah! CBBC. Hello, I'm Ken. And I'm Ken's brain. And like a lot of brains, I've got a lot of questions. Lots and lots of questions. Are cats just tiny lions in disguise? Ridiculous question. How much would it cost to buy Finland? Pointless question. Who would win if the sun and the moon had a punch-up? Actually, that's quite a good question. And whatever I ask, I need answers. Luckily, I've got help from my best mate, Liam. I've got another plan. And a few famous faces. Ha! You need all the help you can get. Yeah? Tell me about it. Let's do this! Let's go there. We can't go to the moon, Brain. Why not? We don't have a rocket. How are we going to get there? With a catapult? My thoughts exactly. Oh, no. Here we go again. Here comes the Brain question. Ken, Ken, can you? Can you catapult yourself to the moon? Of course, there's no way you can catapult yourself to the moon. Wait a minute. Maybe if I had enough ping. Ow. I can make history. I'll need some help. I need Layla. Hi, Ken. Layla, question. Can you catapult yourself to the moon? The moon? It's a bit ambitious for you, don't you think? What? I'd go to the moon. You complain about how long it takes to get into town on the bus. Only because I get motion sickness. Anyway, do you think you can or not? Catapult myself to the moon? Yeah, I could do that. Do you want me to get anything for you on the way back? What? Well, if I'm going all the way to the moon, I might as well pop to the shops. It saves me going out again, doesn't it? She's gone. Computer, call space expert. Hi, Vanita Mawaha Madil, expert in astronautics, astrophysics, and space science. Hi, Ken. I need your help to answer a question. OK. You know that company that sent people to the moon and all that? NASA. Yeah. So why didn't NASA use catapults? Catapults? To the moon? <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah. Well, the first thing to realize is that the moon is a long way away, 384,000 kilometers away. That's fine. I've got some snacks for the journey. Ken, it took NASA a week to get there. A week? Better make sure I use the loo before I leave. And that's not all. You're going to have to travel really quickly to escape the Earth's gravity. How fast are we talking here? 40,200 kilometers per hour. While I was being sick, oh. Manita explained to me why you have to go so fast. It's all about overcoming gravity. The higher the speed of the object going up, further it is with or gravity slows it down enough to stop it. So if you can get the object fast enough, it'll eventually manage to shoot so far that the Earth's gravity won't pull it back down, effectively launching it into space. I did it! It took me all night, but I did it! Right. Result! Let's scale this up. We're going to take you on a little journey, so I'm just going to pop you. Look, you can... It's fine, just suck in and you'll be fine. One small step for mannequin, one giant leap for mannequin kind. Good luck. It's not going to work, actually, is it? Better call Ken. Ken, we're going to need a bigger catapult. Well, I just spoke to space expert Vanita Moaha Madil, and she says we're going to need something big enough to fire someone 384,000 kilometers to the moon. How big's the one we've got right now? 
Don't worry about it. Not getting in that. Oh, I can't watch. <gasps> oh, they did it. Don't try this at home. Well, I am at home. Haven't you got somewhere to be? Oi, you hung up on me. Yeah, but I've done some research, right? The largest human catapult ever could fire someone up to 150 metres at 100 kilometres per hour. So if we sort of do that and aim right and take advantage of the wind, then times it by the multiplication. Right, to launch it to space, I'm going to need to go at 40,200 kilometres per hour. So I guess I'm going to need an even bigger catapult than that. Yeah, excellent idea, Ken. I'll leave that with you. Wait, what? She's gone. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You're thinking that I don't know the first thing about building a catapult and that I should get help, right? Uncanny. Computer, get me an inventor who makes ridiculous contraptions. Hi, Tom Stanton, aerospace engineer and general internet inventions guy. Hi, Ken, what's up? I have a favor to ask. Do you ever design catapults? Well... What kind of catapult are you after? Something that will catapult me... Yeah? ...to the moon. A couple of problems here. Problem one. You will need to reach a speed of 40,200 kilometers per hour. If you go through the air very fast, the friction creates a lot of heat. Problem two. The biggest problem will be the g-force during the launch of the catapult. If you accelerate too quickly, the immense g-forces could potentially turn you into a pancake. And nobody wants to arrive on the moon as a pancake. What is it about space and pancakes? Right. Wish me luck. Don't look at me like that. No, it's not because I thought the clip looked fun. Ridiculously dangerous, but fun. Right, I'll see you later, OK? Oh, hang on. Ken, how's the giant catapult coming along? Um, slight problem. I spoke to Tom Stanton and, apart from the fact that the acceleration would turn you into a human pancake... A what? We need to think about the heat caused by air friction. Yeah, but it's that dry heat or wet heat, because I just hate the humidity. You'd be burnt to a silently screaming crisp. I mean pancake. Right. So basically, what we need to do is think about how <laughs> is... Oh, she's gone. All right. Maybe it is your turn after all. What? You want protection from the heat? All right. Demanding. See what I can do. <laughs> there you go. All set for your journey. One last thing. Lovely. Now you're ready. You keep that. See you later. Tom, what have you got for me? Well, I've had a think. To build a catapult to get you anywhere near the moon, you would need something huge, something enormous, something like this. Aha, uh -huh. yep, that looks doable. What's that dome it's balancing on? That would be the Earth. Right, and that thing that looks like a little bug? That's the International Space Station. I see. So the catapult would be... Four times the height of the International Space Station. So what you're saying is, it's still possible? Computer, call Layla. Layla, are you okay? Yeah, you should see the other guy. What happened? We were testing his heat shield before we ran into some technical issues. Well, I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Stand by, brain. Ready to launch. Thanks to space expert Vinita Moaha Madil, 
inventor Tom Stanton and some very successful test launches. Houston, we have an answer. Fire me up! So, to catapult yourself from Earth to the Moon, you'd need a very, very, very powerful catapult stretching way out into space that would be so big it would be impossible to build. And even if you could manage that, you would need a really cool suit to stop you cooking to a crisp on the way there. Once you left Earth... Safely. Then you'd have to hope you've aimed the catapult perfectly as the moon is pretty easy to miss. You definitely don't want to miss because you'd just sail off into space forever. Which, of course, wouldn't happen because all of this is impossible due to the previous reasons we just mentioned. So there we are, Brain. Sadly for all of us, you absolutely cannot catapult yourself to the moon. Only because you don't trust your aim. I'll have you know, my aim is perfect. <laughs> what did I say? <sighs> Who needs to go to the moon anyway? And all these years, people said it was made of cheese. Is it actually made of pancakes? Can you imagine if it actually rained pancakes? And why do Layla's mannequins have so many clothes? Pants only got one outfit. I'd like to catapult all these names to the moon. What are you doing here? This is my show. CBBC. We're celebrating the new series of The Dumping Ground here on CBBC HQ. So if you want more Dumping Ground in your life, then head to the CBBC website where there's loads of ways to get involved, including a sneak peek of the next episode. There's also a quiz to test your Dumping Ground knowledge. Taz will bring you up to speed on the recent series, but how much can you remember? And there's the Snack Room game. You've got to head through Ashton Ridge, gathering up all those 